And I quite like those little curls also on the head. But you can see on that sternomastoid muscle, that, that neck muscle, there's one on each side. You can see them both coming down there and to meet each other in the center. And you see the thorax in between. And the neck's a very tricky old thing to paint if you don't understand it. And a lot of people draw necks like pipes, just these cylindrical shapes, because they don't understand how it's all working. So, you know, if anatomy's too overwhelming, you know, just study one part at a time. Study the neck. And study the chest and the arms. But at the end of the day, you got to study it all. But start at one part at a point at a time. And, uh, and eventually it'll become second nature to you. I'm not saying you'll always be able to just sit down with a pencil and draw perfectly well the anatomy, because even today, um, knowing all these pieces and how they work, you've just got to turn your head and turn your body at the same time in a different direction. All these muscles, they'll all just change. They'll still be the same muscles, but the shapes will be different, and they'll interact differently, because the human body is very complex. So you've got to study, 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 and even with all that study, you still have to take photographic reference every once in a while. But if you think just photographic reference alone is going to save you, it will not. Because the photo lies. Uh, just a bad lightning condition or, or a cast shadow that wasn't there before and all of a sudden you don't know what you're looking at. You don't know whether you're looking at ribs or a shadow of a leaf or, um, or anything.